What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel if you didn't know. So today I'm going to talk today I'm going to be talking to you guys all about lash speed, how to increase your lash speed cuz this is literally like the number one question ever. Everybody's had everyone who has started lashes or has been lashing has probably asked this question at least once. So let's answer some of some let's give some answers. Let's get let's get some answers. First off, I do want to start off by saying that this is a service that is a luxury service. It is not an essential. It is not something that is for everybody. Um, it is definitely a luxury. So that being said, it is something that takes time. It is not something to be expected to take half an hour, even an hour. It's, it's something that has to be done right and it's like it's like getting your makeup done it depends on your artist and how your artist does their work yeah a lot of clients are just like oh so like it doesn't take half an hour it doesn't take 25 minutes no it doesn't and don't be afraid that your lashes take like three hours I have some sets today it's been like a good few years and some sets today take me like really long and it's not that I, I could probably do it really quick and like get through it but to be honest like if I know you have difficult lashes and I know that like if I go any faster it could compromise your lashes I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna take my time and that's just it's just a service to myself because it's my work and I take pride in what I do and if it takes a little bit longer you came to me so you gotta sit there yeah <laughs> that's that's what it is let's get into it so that being said, it is a quality, a lot, a luxury service. Don't forget that. Let your clients know that from the beginning, it is a luxury service and takes time. When I started doing lashes, it would definitely take me anywhere between three to four hours to do a classic, which is totally normal. Some people are really blessed and they could do it in like two hours, like just coming out of the, the training, which is fantastic. You were meant to do lashes, but others like myself took time and you have to like get up to it. One of my number one tips is to practice 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 I know that's so boring to hear and no one wants to hear that but it's just the truth at the end of the day you're not gonna get any better or any faster unless you practice that's just what it is so practice as much as you can try your best to get as many live models as you can um, mannequin heads are absolutely fantastic and they work really well especially ours flourish lashes link here somewhere link in description Daisy doll head love it it has detachable eyes It's the best way to practice but Live models will never ever go wrong. It's the best way to start working and getting a real life experience and knowing exactly how long you're taking to do a live model and um, kind of just getting the idea of how it feels and getting those like real life experiences that actually take up more time and you can kind of negate from having any of those. Live models, practice, practice, practice. My next tip, this one was super helpful for me, for me and I don't know how it just started happening, but I think when I got certified, I got certified um, to get to, to take my tile or my lashes and put it on the side of my client's head um, on the bed. But personally, I started putting them on my hand and it just, it, it was so weird. The first time I did it, I cut down like at least 20 minutes and I thought it was just like the client's lashes, but then I kept doing it and I realized it was actually a big time saver for me because I guess I wasn't like, going to the side and then coming back it was literally right here the entire time so I was just picking and like going and then actually something to go along with that is when I stopped using the jade stone I know so many people use the jade stone because it is really good and it does hold your glue really well but personally this is personal um, using glue rings actually sped me up so much like between having the strip on my hand and having the glue ring here I barely had to do much movement and that was the key is having less movement and having to like go here go there even just like turning your back or whatever like that just takes up time so just having the, the strip here my, my glue ring here was so easy to grab dip apply grab dip apply um, obviously isolate but you know what I mean so that was like the biggest thing for me um, also these are all I'm gonna say these are like more beginner stuff because I guess like a lot of advanced lash artists probably know most of these but um, or have like progressed and like had the same issue I know when I started I wasn't using a lash bed I was using a zero gravity chair and when I got the lash bed it made it so much easier less strain on my back therefore I wasn't so like hesitant to bend over I guess so uh, that took uh, that took out a chunk of time as well um, and then I started reducing just based on ha being more comfortable and more uh, I just had a better angle with my client and their lashes so that really really helped another thing that really helped me again it's so personal these are all personal personal things was the pads like it would take me so long 
to put pads under people's eyes like that was just like my biggest downfall ever was just using pads under eyes so as soon as I switched to using um uh, tape I swear it like knocked off five minutes from my session my entire session knocked off like five minutes just from not adjusting and like having to like take off and put back on and make sure she was okay and then in the middle they start watering it, it just eliminated watering and discomfort for my entire from a client the entire session so that was just an overall time saver from for myself um, and then obviously just applying it quicker I got used to it and it was really easy to just apply so that definitely like that took a lot of time off for me <laughs> another thing that's actually super helpful and honestly I feel like it took me way too long to like get this together but just being organized I, I think I'm just not like the most organized person in general so when I started doing lashes and I realized how I started growing my like collection having all these products and everything and then having so many trays of lashes it was so hard to like make sure I had everything like right there and like I could see everything because it was I was flustering going through trays I'm um, trying to pick up the right tr the right length and weight and everything like that so I think just making sure everything was lined up and I could see everything perfectly um, clear I think I'll do like a tray tour so you guys can see in another video but just like being able to see the length and the the, the whole um, strip that has all the info on it I made it so much easier for me to grab and just like go yeah that takes a lot of time like kind of just going through lash lash trays and like having to figure out if you actually have that lash tray make sure you're organized organized organization is like literally the most important thing because if you have everything laid out in front of you you can literally just go ahead and start applying and you're good to go another thing that people say and to be honest I have had this myself um, talking to your client like I understand like a lot of clients want to talk and then they have like facial expressions and they move a lot um I've learned to maneuver around it just by I don't know I just kind of like deal with it I deal with the movement I don't stop and like wait like I'll just kind of like you know go ahead or I tell them hey just like you know chill a little bit people just kind of stop talking or like if I just stop if I know I have a difficult client and like not difficult and like the person I mean like if their lashes are super difficult um, I'll I'll kind of like minimize the amount of talking I do just to like really focus and like get them out of there um, I'll do my best to kind of talk in the beginning and then kind of just like mm, all right you know you go ahead relax take a nap if you want like you know and then um I could just like speed right through it but uh, sometimes when you're talking constantly um, even you yourself you get into the conversation you kind of like you do slow down a little bit so I know for a fact like definitely talking does play a part but again I talk to all my clients it's really just the ones that have serious serious complicated lashes the ones I kind of minimize the amount of talking or I'll do it in the beginning and then do it at the end but really 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 focus in the center just like getting it done okay another one that I think is super helpful um, this is like just how I do lashes in general it's just the way that I think works the best is I know that a lot of uh, lash artists will kind of do a skeleton and just like go through the lashes let's just say you're doing like a volume they'd fill up like they do one here one here one here one here and then just go again in between and do one here one here one here one here and then kind of go back and forth I've tried it before to be honest I think it takes 10 times longer only because I feel like once you start getting really full you have to like go in between and keep looking for lashes like you have to keep looking for natural lashes to apply an extension on and I think that just looking alone and like kind of like separating 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 to make sure that there's no natural lashes in there um, takes time so I don't like to do that personally the way I do it is I literally go lash by lash by lash by lash and that's only because I go from eye to eye so if I've applied a lash right here on like the left eye I'll like jump to the right eye and apply it and then jump back to my left eye and then but I'm, I'm going in like a uniform um, direction so it's all side by side so that way I know I missed no lashes and I don't have to go back in and like search and search and search for like a natural lash and then I, I personally that's just the way I work I love it like that also um one of the best tips is like definitely do your difficult lashes first that is so important because you're going to end up being there forever um, and it kind of gives you a better way of gauging your time and then you kind of, you know, take a look at the clock and just kind of see um, how long that actually took you because then sometimes if you just do the easy ones first, you tend to not work as fast because you think it's going to be like a breeze but then now you're like an hour in and you haven't even touched the difficult ones yet. So what I do 
is I'll do my inner corners first because they're always trickier and then I will do my outer corners and then I'll do the centers so same thing though I'll still do it in like a uniform way but I'll start at the very inner and then go down this way and then once I'm like maybe like a quarter way done I'll jump to the end and then I'll do like the same thing the very end and then a quarter way and then kind of go back in the middle and then just fill in the ugh, I can't talk and then I'll go back in the middle and just kind of fill in the center just so that way I know I'm getting all my difficult lashes first and then the center is going to be so easy to do because those are your um thicker straighter um just more like prominent lashes so you can definitely see those a lot better I, I noticed for myself these are all trial and error things um but I had definitely didn't I didn't do that in the beginning because who the hell knew that at the beginning and then as I progressed and I started realizing certain things worked better my timing started to go down due to certain um, changes I was making that was definitely a really really good one. I love that I do that today That's how I do lashes and I will not change because I love it I think those are like my main points if I have more I'm gonna do another video, but that is basically it I hope these tips helped I will kind of like give a little more detail in the description But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time. Bye